Hey guys, Dr. James here. I just wanted to talk briefly about vulvodynia and kind of our thought process as we approach a treatment plan. So the treatment really depends on what is causing your vulvodynia symptoms. And there are so many contributing factors that can result in the same type of symptoms in different people. So for example, it might be infections that you've experienced in the past, allergic reactions, hormonal changes in the skin, muscular tension in the pelvic floor. Um, but all of it boils down to irritation of those tiny nerve fibers in the skin, right? Because the nerve fibers are the ones that are carrying those pain signals. So when we think of a treatment plan for vulvodynia, it's very important to work with a pelvic pain physician who is experienced in treating vulvodynia, who can do an appropriate history and physical exam for you so that we can figure out what are your contributing factors and then make sure that we are addressing that nerve irritation and getting that to calm down so that you can have symptom relief.